This game includes disturbing content and scenes of graphic violence. Prepare your bums. Oh, yes. Capcom. Capcom didn't make these games. They do now, apparently. Directed by Kinji Fuka, Fukasaku. What did it say? I don't know if that's a person or a doll, but it doesn't look good either way. Dracula's castle. Oh, it's a clock tower. Oh, oh, big surprise. Not only is it a clock tower, but it's clock tower three. But, um, tss. okay, guys, it's finally time. I say finally time because this is the game that inspired me to even play the clock tower series. And by that I mean, this is game, this is game, this game was actually donated to me from an awesome fan. This is Clock Tower 3 for the PlayStation 2, apparently produced by Capcom and not human who, usually, who developed the first three games, Clock Tower SNES, Clock Tower PS1, and Clock Tower 2 on the PS1. But uh, yeah, apparently Capcom took the reins after that, and here we are playing Clock Tower 3 on PS2. So this game was donated by a dude called Alex, or A-Dog as he went by when he sent this to me, and he's probably been <laughs> waiting for me to play it for a couple of years now. It's been sitting on my shelf for a while, and I told myself I would play it once I played the other games in the series. We finally did that, so we're finally playing it. Um, I am using a new PS2 controller that I just bought. It's a generic, like, off-brand one, but my old generic off-brand one, which I've been using for years, was fine, but... It has vibration issues and button issues, and I'm like, I'm, it's time to just buy another cheapy PS2 controller. I'm fine with it. I just want to see if there's, like, subtitles or something to turn on or whatever. Oh, I don't need to know buttons right now, even though I probably should. But it's more fun to press buttons and see what happens. Am I right? Sound. We could at least see what sound options there are. Sound. Blah, blah, blah. Everything's good. That's fine. Screen. I'm, I'm, I'm probably good with the rest of this. So yeah, this is Clock Tower 3, PS2. What are we in store for? I don't know, but we at least have an actual Clock Tower in the intro, which is a good sign. Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within, did not have a Clock Tower in the game. So yeah, that's already a step up over that game, 100%. In fact, Clock Tower 1 didn't even have a Clock Tower, at least not that I found. I don't know if I messed up and I didn't get to the Clock Tower in Clock Tower 1, like the one on the PS1. But maybe it just, I never got to it because the ending I ended up getting. But whatever. Anyway, Clock Tower 3. We're going to get started. I don't know if it has point and click controls. I don't know anything about this game. I really don't. I, I know just as much as I knew about the rest of the games in the series, which is very little to none. I don't know if Scissor Man makes his return or nothing. But anyway, welcome to the people who are here. Uh, and I know Dragon is questioning who else is using my internet in my house, why my stream would be terrible right now. Honestly, they're, they're watching a movie in the other room, but that is what they usually do in the other room when I'm streaming, if they're here. So that's not the issue. The issue is is probably either Twitch or my ISP or my node or whatever for Twitch is garbage, and I really don't know what to do about it right now. So I'm just going to just live with the variable bit rate 
and we're going to click new game and let's get started on clock tower three thanks again a dog for donating this to the collection appreciate it i think it's probably safe to say this probably has multiple endings if i had to guess just like the other games but hey that's just a guess that's just a theory Let's watch an intro video. I gotta say, it's nice to play something with some actual graphics after how bad the first three games have looked. Well, the first game actually looked good for SNES. It's been anyway, such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you, and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please, go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please, do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello? Mom? So a girl's name is Alyssa yeah. again. What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mom? Hello? Mom? Mom? Answer me. <laughs> oh boy. Already starting off spoopy. Mom? Oh, you fucked up by coming back here, Alyssa. You really did. Mom? Mom! <laughs> Got some Resident Evil Mansion vibes already. It is Capcom, after all. Mummy is not here. <laughs> What's up, Bohushi? Welcome in, sir. Welcome to this terrible quality stream. How you doing? Also, um, hello. Me. Uh, are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. What? So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. What the? F <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me. <laughs> what in the hell is this guy? <laughs> Creepy F. <laughs> well, cool. Good start to the game. Cool. All right. What are the, what are the controls here? We actually can move around with the joystick. I already love this game. This game is one thousand per time times percent better. Those are words that came out of my mouth. This game is 1,000% times better than the last three games I played because I can control the character one-to-one -one with the controller. That is amazing. Thank you for not sticking to the point-click formula, guys who made this game. I love you. It's the chair that Strange Gentleman was sitting in. Yes, it is. So we can examine objects, pressing the X button. Square doesn't do anything at the moment. Oh, actually, if I hold it down, it makes me walk. Circle... Okay, let's me crawl. Probably going to use that to hide under things, crawl under things, get away. Triangle doesn't do anything. Uh, L1, R1. No, oh, oh, R1 goes to the map. Okay, cool. We have a map. For the love of God, we have a map. This game is already better just for having a map and being able to move around. Oh, my God. Okay, so there's like a... There's a green book and a jar in the entr the entranceway area, which means save point and whatever the hell the green jar means. I don't know. Is the blur super bad? I'm sorry if the blur is super bad, guys. Hopefully, again, my bitrate will get better as the night goes on. If it gets so bad that it just makes everybody want to leave, I'm sorry. 
<sighs> the clock keeps perfect time, does it? Is it perfect, though? How perfect is it? I'm just mashing the X button feverish, feverishly and hoping something interacts. The light from the fire casts a reddish glow. Does it now? Yeah, considering what was happening earlier, just, you know, be happy we can watch the game at all. Because, fuck me, I was like, I just want to start this, man. I just want to start this game, man. Alright, I guess we're going back out of this room. Because that feels safe. Dope. Alright, so I'm assuming this is save point. Diary lies open with an incomplete entry. You can save your data here. Yes, please. And just to confirm, I am playing this on a legit PS2. This is not like... Uh, you know, the first three games in the series where I was using an emulator. This is legit. Playing PS2, using a memory card, creating a slot. You know how the gist goes. You know how we dizzle. The shizzle. It's funny, because I never, like, I, I remember seeing this game, like, on shelves when it came out. I was going to say, how long does it take to save the game? Jesus. Um, like, Clock Tower 3, I remember its existence and thinking, man, I've never heard of that series. It looks spooky, though, just from the, the, the fucking, you know cover of the game never really was into spooky games back then didn't know that it was such a complicated series and this was the first one that capcom like put its hands on strange pattern adorns the jar it is brimming with fresh water i'm assuming that heals you if you need it but right now we don't need it and let me guess there's no need to go out now i have to find mum. oh oh you want to go find your mom you don't believe the creepy guy who said she's gone forever first of all he said she left and second of all he said she's never coming back. Double whammy, in my opinion. Or anyway, there's a bell, and there's a vase here. A, a, a vase, if you're, if you're fancy. And I swear to God, if that jar was an amulet holding place, I would have already quit this game. If this bitch has another personality like Clock Tower 2, I'm going to be salty. I know this is Alyssa, but if she goes Bates mode, I'm going to throw something. Anyway, it's filled with art and antiques. Grandfather used to collect that kind of thing. Dope dope yeah we're gonna check the first floor first i'm not gonna go anywhere else grandfather's room he's not here now it's been three years since he left when's he coming back i don't know but can we go in the door apparently we don't even want to go in there because grandfather's room is off limits apparently it's locked all guest rooms from this point forth everyone's out okay so those are all guest rooms over there and that door is locked locked areno you got it dude Door transitions don't exist. Also happy about that. Little worried about chase sequences later being straight up chase sequences. Just people right on my ass the whole time. Nothing of interest. Suck my dick. That's a door. You could open it. Tell me there's nothing of interest. <sighs> anyway, look. Even if Bates is back, maybe this game can have both interact with all things and stuff. That would be great. Also, not making it complicated to switch back and forth between things if it matters, you know? Making the hard, making it hard to switch back and forth between things is the worst part. <sighs> Nothing of interest here except a door that says Phillips on it. Apparently, it's trying to get me to go one specific way right now. That's what it seems like anyways. Oh, there's my room. That's probably where I'm supposed to go. The one that says Alyssa on it. What do you guys think? Can you find the room that says Alyssa on it? You know what? I'm not going that way. I'm going to check Alyssa's door first. All right. Nothing out the window. Not a speck of dust. Mom must have cleaned it for me. Keep your bed clean. Because you know your daughter's coming home someday. Worn books stand neatly in line. My room's... Nothing's changed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to check all the things. Wow. Your room's got a whole freaking sofa. Freaking fireplace set up. That's pretty dope. Our first shiny, guys. We found some lavender water, which is... Goes really great with a nice bubble bath. Also, a a the TV doesn't work. Maybe it's not plugged in properly, but it does play snow and it plays this dope song. You guys hear this? Staying on these games hardcore, huh? 
So hardcore, Drew. So hardcore. But luckily for me, this is the last one in the series, so I'm going to be glad to be done with this series when I'm done with this because for those who don't know, if you haven't watched me play the first three games in the series, the SNES, PS2, one, and the two PS1 games, those are bad. Well, okay, the two PS1 games are bad, especially Clock Tower 2. That game was especially bad, and I... Basically, I left that game with a bad ending, and I don't care because the ending I got locked me in, and I couldn't go back to do a better ending without reloading the whole entire game, basically. So screw that game. Screw that game. And if the game looks terrible right now, Drew, it's because my frame rate is pretty bad. So sorry if it looks bad on stream. I'm trying to hope it gets better, but nothing I can really do about it right now. But this game plays a lot better. You I mean, look how, look how smooth I run around. PS2 for the win. Anyway, I'm assuming this is a bathroom. Maybe. Or not. Maybe not. Okay. Apparently this is a meeting room or something. Must be a desk for guests. Mom always keeps the place so spotless. Ooh. Fire burns in the hearth. Don't burn yourself on it, woman. Okay, so this is the door that I checked earlier, I'm pretty sure. So, okay. So we have a door here. He's locked. The lodgers won't be coming back for a while. Okay. So anyway, Drew, welcome to the stream. How you doing today, sir? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good one. Sorry, obviously, that I we haven't chatted as much as usual just because, you know, East Coast, West Coast right now. That's how it goes. What's with this blue thing on the door? Okay. Well, going to Silent Hill now, y'all. Maybe not. Okay. What happened? Hello? The panic meter. Oh, God. We still get the panic. Random to see me at this time? I mean, I was going to start like an hour ago. In fact, I tried to start like an hour ago, but my fucking bitrate was so trash, I couldn't even start. But yeah, I'm, I'm playing a little bit late. Um, you know, we got a kid around. We got to work around that, you know. You kind of hope they keep that charming jank when running from enemies and entering doors. Oh, boy, I can't wait to see. I didn't forget my West Coast homie. It's just hard to link up when I'm three hours ahead, man. It really is. So anyway, panic meter. Whenever Alyssa is feeling physically or emotionally threatened, the panic meter rises. When the panic meter reaches max, Alyssa falls into a state of panic. While in a state of panic, Alyssa's movements are restricted, and if attacked while in a state of panic, she will die. Okay, so panic doesn't mean you're dead. It just means you got to get out of panic, I guess. Panic meter reading will go down slowly if Alyssa relaxes in a safe place, always keeping an eye on the panic meter and trying to minimize stress whenever possible. Take naps frequently to keep your panic down. Okay, so... Oh, hold on. Una cutscene? One of those things where you gotta interact with everything to get the next thing to happen. Oh, cool! <laughs> it's almost like a Zelda freaking sound. Doodle -doo -doodle -doo. Anyway, uh... The wall behind the fireplace is falling apart. Who would have thought there was a hidden room in here? If only I could crawl like Link. Also, what's up, DJ? What's that pinned in front of her clothes? Uh. Oh, no. It is the badge. It is the fucking... Ugh. No. <sighs> at least the game's in-game demo showed us the panic state worked a little bit. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really watching the demo closely, even though I know things were happening. Also, geez, you have to stand still to get crawling. Don't look up her skirt, you pervs. Stop it. Glad the camera changed angles. They didn't look up their her gooch like they do Link's gooch. He's crawling. Oh, cool, the statue's got a bloody eyeballs. It's like a throwback to the clock tower on ps1 i think it was oh god and the head fell off and everything i think that happened in the ps1 game too creepy that looks like a bottle and a letter down there pick them up sacred bottle pick them up what's the letter say nancy's letter that's my mom dearest Alyssa, i wanted nothing more than for you to live peacefully, but if you are reading this now, you must have come back to the house. For your protection, I am giving you some advice, as well as instructions on how to use this bottle of holy water. Holy water uses 1. 
exorcism. If you ever are threatened, sprinkle some holy water on your assailant. It will cause them to halt temporarily. 2. Destroying sigils. To break the seals that prevent access to certain places, sprinkle holy water on them. Replenishing holy water. Always remember that the holy water you have is not in limitless supply. You can refill your bottle from either 1. Sacred jars or 2. Lion drinking fountains. Sentimental items and spirits. A person who has died of a natural causes has unfinished business in the living world. In order to protect yourself, you must work to heal their wounds. To do so, you must find their sentimental item. Lastly, this is all my fault, but I will do my best to protect you. Please remember that I love you more than anything else in the world, and I always will. Mom. Oh boy. Okay, so we gotta find sacred items for the people. Sentimental items for the different spirits that we find. We gotta use the holy water on on assailants that are threatening me and to destroy sigils to get in areas. And the jar probably use used to refill that water. It's not to heal me, it's to refill the water. I think the healing thing that I was talking about is just my panic air button area, so I have to just relax and not panic to get that meter up there in the top left to go down. It's the patron saint of the Hamilton house. What is it doing here, though? You know, being decapitated and bleeding from its eyes. I don't know. Maybe Bates is gone for good? God, I hope so. Or maybe the twist is he's coming back. And I don't even know if this is the same Alyssa, to be fair, y'all. This could just be a coincidence that they used a girl named Alyssa in this game. Get up off your fucking knees, girl. Are lion drinking fountains still good for getting more sacred water if people were to piss in them? Sacred piss, dude. Sacred piss. Wait. Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, which door was it that I went to? Oh, it was over here. Sorry, I made a wrong turn. I want to sprinkle some holy water on this. On this. How do I use certain objects? Oh, well, figured that out. That was the triangle button. I did it, guys. I broke the seal. I'm so smart. I'm the smartest. This place is immaculately clean. Mattress immaculately clean. Oh, hello. This old door has been boarded up. Can't remember this door ever been this door ever having been opened. Okay. I'll close it off. Bo uh, someone's behind the door. Sprinkle some holy water on it. No. Damn it. Doesn't work on that sigil. At least it just straight up tells you that. See, fucking feedback. You think PS One era they could have had some fucking feedback for things? Nah, brah. Nah just can't interact with things proper also mom's room let's go say hi hey mom's room the three-way mirror has been folded up mom's bed mom's the word must have left in a hurry the wardrobe door is still open nobody creepy in there can't interact with the books that's an old-ass computer, but that's cool. It actually looks like an early 2000s computer, to be fair. The clock has stopped. You'd need special winding keys to get it working again. Okay, so special winding keys. Mental note. Who's in that portrait? It's been there forever. <laughs> forever. Um, okay, can't interact with the radio there, I guess. Computer desk, then. There's a computer on the desk. I wish I had one, too. Well, your mom's not here anymore. Take this one. Take it. There is a shiny. Look for shinies. Los fotos. <coughs> Who is it? Okay. So far, we have riveting, riveting stuff. Honestly, you don't think this is the same Alyssa? I don't think it is either. I know you told me not to, but I couldn't help it. I'm so worried about you. Where are you, Mum? Dead AF. Oh. Secret book with bookmark that looks important. <gasps> that's the 
That guy. Who started playing the piano? Who did it? <laughs> Who's playing that? Calm your tits, girl. It's just a piano. Oh boy. That? Here we go. Anyway. Yeah, that guy. Good times. Now what? Oh lord, we're going in. Uh, is it really going to have like a Silent Hill mode where we're like in the, you know, the, the hell realm or whatever they call it? I don't remember what they call it. It's been a while since I played a Silent Hill game. The other side. So what? Now we're just in some random place? Like what the hell? Oops, that's the map button. I don't know where we are. We're on High Street, apparently. That's cool. Does High Street lead to high school? <laughs> Funny joke. Wow. Oh my lord. Are we in the middle of a war? You fuck with the war? Do you take people's land? Do you fuck with the war? <laughs> no, I don't fuck with the war. Well, you fuck with the war now. Wow, that, those explosions look so real, guys. They look so real. Oh god, the bus! Jeebus. I didn't. That that didn't go very well. Someone's still playing that infernal piano? How dare they? This is no time to play the soundtrack to my life when I'm getting exploded on over here, boys. All right, so... Cool. Good times. Hope you had the time of your life. Can't go back in. I see. The last game, it was Alyssa Hale, and this one's Alyssa Hamilton. I think they might have... Well, they did mention the Hamilton house that we were in, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah, and I had forgotten her name in the previous game. And then again, to reiterate, I will not probably be going back to Clock Tower 2 to struggle within because holy shit. Fuck that game forever. Like, it's too tedious to replay to get the real, like, the better endings. The actual good endings that were something good actually happens 1942 where on earth am i holy crap flashback here's a dead body by the way rip to this guy there was a lot of explosions after all uh-oh whoever was holding the door shuts not holding it anymore Kind of waiting for that, honestly. Panic button? <laughs> Panic! <laughs> it's a ghost! The ring. Give me back my ring. Uh, sure? That explosion, but he looks like as though he's burnt by something. An empty ring box. Did someone steal the ring from him? I don't know where your ring is. I'm sorry. Maybe your ring's over here. There it is. That's got to be your ring, right? So it's found the engagement ring. So this is probably an idea of a sentimental item being returned or whatever. Yeah, here we go. Spiritual healing. When you find a sentimental item, sentimental item that belongs to a person who died of a natural causes, return it to the rightful owner. If it is a ring, put it in its case. If it is a half heart pendant, put it together with the other half. By returning the sentimental item, spirits are healed, and Melissa may obtain another item or valuable treasure return. Okay, so basically, go put the ring back in the box. Got it. Makes sense. The game's made by different producers. They make a new story for the series. Yeah, they're just trying to give you, like, references to the other games, I'm sure, by a, but making a new game entirely. Anyway, with the power of Google, you found out the name of the song that I was playing was Chopin Fantasy Impromptu, which means it's probably a song that's going to get copyrighted, which would be dope. Anyway, let's go to the dang box and put the ring back in the box. Put the ring in the box. Do I have to press... What I oh, shit! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to throw that in your face. I don't know how to switch items. 
Use item, yes. Did someone drop it? Can I use it? There we go. Okay. So I did it, guys. I did it. Oh, I see. If anything, it's more surely not copyrighted because it's public domain, bitch. I don't know. Some of those old songs, for some reason, are still copyrighted. I'm not saying this one is. I don't expect it to be. Just, you know, always vigilant of that kind of thing because shit happens all the time. But anyway, we get a sigil stone for helping that spirit. So that's cool. Sigil stone for the win. I didn't actually realize there was a menu until I pressed start just now. And I was like, oh, there actually is a menu. Um... So we got this lavender water earlier, which alleviates panic. That's good to know, actually. We'll take an attack on your behalf just once. Oh, so that's like a just a usable item. Noted. Click on files. We have Nancy's letter only. That's fine. This menu is slow as hell. Absolutely hate it. Not going to the menu too often. Screw that. Specific recordings might be. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of my, my, my point. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, enough of this menu. It's cumbersome enough. I'll just be in here for items. Fuck files and key items unless we need something specific. All right. Moving on. Until we get stuck on something, I just want to kind of keep moving. So far, this has been not too not too uh, open-ended. Very, very linear so far. Anyway... It's a drinking fountain shaped like a lion. You can save the game and refill your water bottle. I would like to do both, actually. Thank you very much. Lion drinking fountain found. It's a PS2 game. Of course, the menu loading will be slow. Yeah, but, like, the menus in PS1, the PS1 game were, like, way less cumbersome. Surprisingly so. Like, compared to this. Like, this save is, like, what the hell? Take forever save. Like for real. Tick, tick, tock, motherfucker. Actually, that seemed faster than last time. Maybe it just took longer to make our first save, that's why. That's probably what it was. Kick the can. Who wants to play kick the can? Not me. Oh boy, it really is Silent Hill. There's just edges of the world where you can just fall off and die. That's dope. Digging the piano, though. It is, it's a little creepy, but I do dig it. I can hear a piano. Is it coming from that hall over there? It's pretty echoey. Okay, you can't fall off the edge. I was just testing, you know, for science. Can you fall off the edge? No. There's a shiny down there, by the way. I seen that. I seen it. Open up, bitch. Chopin is pretty dope indeed. I mean, yeah, a lot of those old composers, man, they did some good stuff on that piano, for real. Some loud piano if you can hear it all the way from over here. I know, right? Shit is... That dude's going hard. He's got some fucking amp speakers and shit. Just echoing that shit across the goddamn town. Like, bruh. It's quite a setup you got in there. Anyway, I'm just waiting for shit to hit the fucking fan around here. You know things are going south real fast. Oh, God. Especially when the ghost is on you. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Help me. I can sprinkle some juice on you. Don't make me sprinkle some juice on you. Don't make me jizz my holy water on you. I'll do it. Let's get the shiny. The shine. Uh, I'm assuming the sentimental item is what we need to get right now. We got gold fountain pen. Cool. I'm assuming that's a sentimental item. We can double check. Yup. Is that blood or rust? No, we don't need to use it. We need to figure out where to use it at, but we don't need to use it yet. Probably up there. By the cafe. Oh, cool. He likes to cut me off at the pass. That's fun. It's covered in bloodstains. A victim's belongings? The entry begins, My darling, must be addressed to her fiancé. Guess what? She needs a pen to finish it. Am I right? Do it. Hell yeah. Finish your letter to your lovely... Here's your golden pen returned to your dead body. All right, invisibility band. Invisibility band? What? All right, who retired? What? I'm confused. Ring ward for temporary invisibility. 
That's what it does. It's literally temporary invisibility. Good stuff. Oh, do you get a gold pen for retirement? Is that a normal thing? I never even heard that before. God, the lack of loading screens between transitions and stuff is another one of the greatest parts about this so far. Digging that a lot. There are expensive looking suits on display. Yes, there are. We can definitely holy water our way in there. Should we? Probably. Imposing gate prevents anyone from entering. That's a sad story, bro. Hey, another shiny. I'll take it. And we have some more lavender water to alleviate my panic. Mmm, yes. Delicious lavender water. The delicious flowery water alleviates panic. At the disco, especially. I just realized that number up top left actually represents how many uh, do doses of the holy water I have, so that's good to know. I have one left. You only get three to start. I'm hoping that upgrades or whatever, but I mean, the fact that it refills is good enough, I suppose. Treat with decorations. Today must be Christmas Day. Christmas. Holy Christmas. And we have a piece of paper that is Daddy's letter. Dear May, how are you? I am now in France, in a region known as Champagne. 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 It is a beautiful place, with vineyards as far as the eye can see. When the war is over, we must come here together for a holiday. I hear that they have organized for blackouts in London now. I am sure that you are fine during the day, as Jane is there, but I worry about you being alone, alone at night. You'll be all right, won't you, darling? Keep warm. With love, Daddy. Daddy! Sure, girl. People have Christmas decorations from, like, November to February. I know, right? It has to be Christmas Day. No, it could be November 25th, bruh. Bruh. Playing a game on Halloween on Christmas Day? This is getting confusing. I know, right? What do you mean it's Christmas? This is supposed to be Halloween-y game. Also, what the hell are you doing? Uh, cool? I don't... Uh, oh, that was like a dressing room thing. I see, I see, I see. Okay. I don't know what the point of that was, but cool. Clothes from the shop are strewn about carelessly. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I see another shiny. Somebody has been rummaging around the counter. Somebody left their lavender water. Free lavender water. Sweet. Do we still have a map even in here? Because that'd be pretty cool. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Everywhere's got their own map. Hell yeah. What was the lavender for water for again? To alleviate panic. Take a sip if you're panicking too hard. Okay, so there's another thing up there. So there's got to be a refill for my water coming up here because what if I didn't have enough water to to get rid of that signa signet? That's pretty lenient. What, to have like the panic juice locked and will not open? Considering the panic goes down its own. Yeah, but I feel like at some point the panic thing is going to be hard and you have to really deal with it and then you might want to reduce it so she doesn't like get herself killed. So I'm thinking... That's why they, they give you the, the juice. You're going to have moments. All right. Christmas tragedy. Young pianist brutally murdered. Christmas Day, 1942. Paul Mall. Cousin to Paul Wall. Or never mind. Anyway, Paul Mall May Norton. Oh, oh, oh. The whole name is Paul Mall May Norton. Age 12. Sorry. That's all one name. Anyway, to age 12, was found murdered in Norton's The Tailor. Uh, she was discovered by Norton family nanny Jane Stride, who returned home to find the victim unconscious, bleeding from a head. Oh, and the autopsy was revealed that it was an instantaneous death caused by a blow to the skull, with a spelt with a C for some reason, with a heavy, blunt object. No suspects have been named. The victim had taken part in the 15th annual piano concourse at the Victoria Hall in the Kensington 
in Kensington the previous day. A consummate pianist, Miss Thornton was widely tipped for the first prize, but an unfortunate error in her performance prevented her from taking the crown. May had been living at home alone since her father, Will- father William Norton, a serving officer, returned to the front in July. Okay, so, I mean, there you go. This person explains this entire situation we're in right now. Why the piano's playing, who the daddy in the letter was, who the daughter in the letter was. And now we're going to get chased by something, probably. Oh, cool. Dope. That must be her and her getting murdered. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know if I should be watching this. This feels effed up, man. Jesus. Holy crap, this game is brutal. Yeah, no shit you did. Oh my god. You're gonna kill me too. Dude, that guy is terrifying. This game is brutal as hell already. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, sure. Ha hammer time. Here we go. Okay, you gotta give me something. Okay, we have evade points and hide points. When Alyssa's fleeing from an enemy, certain predetermined areas may start to glow. These are evade points or hide points. Approach the area and press the search button to make Alyssa take evasive action or repel her attacker. Note that most evade points can only be used once. Okay. Press the search button when in front of a hide point and Alyssa can take refuge there. The camera will switch to a first person view while in hiding. Great, just to make it scarier. Dope. Hide points can usually be used repeatedly, but if the panic meter reaches max while in hiding, Alyssa will run out from a hiding place and die like a dumbass. Always keep an eye on the panic meter when hiding. You got it, dude. Yeah, I will say. This game may be developed by Capcom and Sunsoft. I can already see it's not going to be as good as a Resident Evil game or something like that, but it has Resident Evil style written all the fuck over it already. Like, they took what Clock Tower was known for, sequences where you're looking around and then getting chased by somebody and panicking about it, and they just rolled with that mechanic being the thing. <laughs> That's... Anyway. All right, so we got to hide, we got to evade. Let's do it. This is going to go well, I'm sure. One of the drawers is locked. Dope. Like I care. Like I give a fudge. Oh, God. It's sealed with barbed wire. You can open without a tool. Ah, oh, shiznugs. Oh, God. I got clipped by that. Oh, God. Just don't be stuck on things. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, uh, oh, ah, Eve. Can I run? Yes, the door. Wow. The, the guy does stop when you open the door, which is kind of amazing, actually. I see. You can hide in here. Uh, he knows I went in here. Wow. Is he really that dumb, though? He's really that dumb, though. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yo, you that dumb, though? You that dumb, though. So I'm assuming it's like the other Clock Tower games where if the killer loses you, they're just off doing their thing, and you'll run into them again eventually. I don't have no idea what the fuck he just said. I would assume the music will stop if he's d done chasing. He said, Alyssa, where are you? Okay. I honestly couldn't hear that shit. I heard him say something, but it was so muffled by my speakers. That's the one downside of playing console stuff, too. I can't necessarily hear everything. I could turn it up a little bit. I don't think you guys hear any echo right now. Maybe I can notch it up a couple notches and be okay. Let me know if you start hearing echo in the game, though. Like, of the actual game volume. <sighs> I know, right? The enemy actually chases you at the same speed that I run. So that actually was a little bit terrifying. Like, not even kidding. I, I may have played that off like, oh, look, I'm getting chased. But, like, that was a little bit more terrifying a lot more terrifying, really, and not even just a little bit than previous games, for sure. Although I will say Scissor Man chasing me around in the Super Nintendo one was very unsettling. So I'm not mad at that game, that's for sure. So we need a way to get through this barbed wire. We need a key for this drawer. We ain't found shit yet. Guest book and some papers are scattered around. Yes, sir. But all right. Keep it moving. Body moving. Don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I walked into this room and that stuff just went down, right? Or no, I found a thing on the table that, like, made that happen, right? 
Oh, I read this newspaper. That's what happened. I literally read that paper right there next to the drawer. That's what I did. Okay. I was just trying to remember how I made that all happen. Now I remember. Can we... Oh, fuck. He's back. There's blood everywhere. Shit. He's back. It's locked. Ah, crap. He's back. And nothing good could come of it. Okay, we didn't go in here yet. Oh, God. Poor choices. We're making them. Open the door. Oh, God. He's on us. Ah! I didn't realize he was just going to be right there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Keep moving. Use a thing. Oh, we're going to fucking thwack this dude. Check it. Kia, mother. Ooh. Poker to the dome, son. Hell yeah. Okay. I assume while he's down, he's down for a minute. This must be the owner of the house. Next to it, there's a key. Pick that shit up, girl. Red drawer key. You got it. I'm assuming he's just going to get the fuck up. Eventually, if you stay here too long. Anyway, I'm just mashing on everything to see if there's anything else useful here. I'm assuming not. The desk is clean and well organized. Man, that dude was right on me, dude. He was right on my ass. That is a bit terrifying. If he can just be right on your ass that easily. The question ends up being like, is he consistent? Does he always stay where he was? when you left him or is he just going to spawn in front of me sometimes which is one of the other tropes of these kind of games but we'll see anyway we got the i was going to call it the may room key we got may's room key dope one of those locked doors will now open probably one of the ones the one upstairs most likely uh was this one Yes. And it auto uses the key too. I love it. I don't have to go in and use the key that is needed for the thing. That's great. There's a diary, yo. Let's read it. May's Diary. 5th of December. Today I darned daddy's socks and sewed a button on his shirt. He calls himself a tailor, but he d he even he can't even mend his own clothes. Please, daddy, I'm not your wife. 15 December. Only a few more days until the concourse, and I still can't play it perfectly. What am I to do? I know Daddy is wishing me well from far away, so I must try my very best. Don't worry, Daddy. I'll make you proud, Daddy. I don't know why I gave her that voice for reading that, but sure. That's the one thing that definitely gives me Resident Evil vibes, is picking up these letters and stuff and pieces of info and reading them. That's a very Resident Evil thing to do, to Bring up all these dang extra pieces of info. Oh, apparently Elon Musk now officially owns Twitter. Cool. I hope he likes owning the biggest cesspool of garbage on the planet, because that's what Twitter is. Also got an invitation. Looks like to the piano recital, so that's cool. Apparently the max exodus has already started. What, people just leaving Twitter because he owns it? That's pretty funny if that's the case. Anyway, I got an invitation. Not sure what it's for. Like, what do I do with it? Oh! Okay. Cool. Alisa. Cool. Um, leave me alone. Escape route's been blocked. What do I do? You freaking hide, girl. Or you get a chair and you show them what for. You give him a what for. Oh, snap. I picked the... Oh, look at her go. She gave him the spear. She was like, fear the spear, you freaking queer. Hell yeah. Small child's bed. Dope. Uh, I don't know why I came back in here. I'm going to be real with you. I got the invitation, which is probably all I really needed. Dude, we gave him the chair. And we tackled him. And his bitch ass went down hard. Get some, son. You can't handle this school school girl. What you know about that? I can't go this way. Also, I don't have any of that shit left anyways. 
I can't go this way. I don't have anything to to uh, get past this fence, so I gotta go back to the beginning, which would think, which I think, was this way. Was this door locked? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Sorry. I was just confusing myself. We're good. That was the door where I went through and I got uh, the key. Sorry. Uh, this door was locked from the other side. We already went through there, too. Okay, so yeah, we're just getting the fuck out of here, I think. We had fun. Hope you had the time of your lives. I don't know why I keep singing that song. I blame the show I watched, we finished watching the other day called, uh, oh god, I didn't know he was going to chase me out here, ah, run for your life, oh crap, I went the wrong way, I need to go across that bridge, crap, woo, shook him, oh, it's so much easier to shook him in this game, because you don't have to fucking go along a goddamn point and click line, which is the best, oh god, do I go this way, I go this way guys, to city hall, to shitty hall, do you need it? I need water. Give me water. I need water. Wow. Can I really refill and save while this dude's chasing me? Because that's hilarious if I can. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I need to save it. Just hold on. You can kill me. Just let me save it first. It's fine. <laughs> that's pretty hilarious, actually. <laughs> All right, continue running for your life now. Ah! <laughs> oh, look, a dead end. Big surprise. Shooky! Ooh, damn. He comes, in, he comes in hot. My panic is getting high. All right, I'm going in. I don't care what's to the right. I'm going in. Oh, shit, the camera. What the? F uh... Sure. I guess he despawns when you get where you need to go. The piano kicked in again, which is pretty cool. Um, let me see what's over here now real quick. Because that's cool. <sighs> okay. Well, we got our water refilled. We got Hammerman stop chasing us. So, you know, things are happening for 